This here is the scrub python. This snake is adapted for living high up in the canopy of just like the target species of this episode, the white-lipped tree frog. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist, the carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. The white-lipped tree frog emerges at night and it wasn't long before the first frog turned up. Frog. Yes probably the most beautiful frog species in the whole of Australia. The amazing bright green coloration that allows them to blend in in amongst the foliage. This is a tiny little tree frog, but the frog that we're hoping to see this evening is the largest tree frog species in the whole world. But this one is just glorious, completely endemic to this region of Australia. Snake. Woo! I'm very top. That is amazing. Maybe I'm just gonna leave you in the tree. That is not our target species. So this one is quite a large frog species, but he lives on the ground. Completely different coloration to the tree frogs because he needs to blend in to the leaf litter. Yes, white lip tree frog, woo! That's as basically as big as they can get. Largest tree frog in the world. That's my hand. Almost as big as my hand. Right, I'm gonna slowly pick this one up. Absolutely glorious. You've gotta be extremely gentle with frogs. Of course, they're very, very delicate creatures. But it's so lovely to see them up close. There's just so many frogs around. Whoa! Do you see that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's the way they also can jump from one tree to another. But that was a really perfect demonstration of these frogs, the way they're able to leap from one branch to another. That one got so high up the tree, we couldn't get her back. But luckily, another frog over there. Oh. Okay. Don't want another frog to get away because we want to get the macro lens on him. Beautiful frog. This one's a little bit smaller. The larger white lipped tree frogs, they're the females, and the males a little bit smaller. So the males are the ones that are calling out for the females. And what they will do each year when they're breeding, the female white lipped tree frog will then lay up to 100 eggs, and only a very few of them will actually be able to grow up to adults. But let's get a closer look of this frog with the macro lens. Those big bulbous eyes actually help them eat by pushing food down when they blink. And this moist skin actually helps them breathe by absorbing oxygen from the water. And these large sticky toe pads help them climb trees and smooth surfaces. What an incredible evening. We've managed to see the brown tree snake, a Cape York graceful tree frog, and our target species of the evening. Feel like he's poised, ready to jump and leap right into that foliage. So white-lipped tree frog, yes. <laughs>